All right, good evening, my friends. People are asking a lot about Parsec and playing multiplayer. So let's just pull up the Parsec UI. This is it right here. So basically, you pull it up. This is my little gamer tag. Make sure your gamer tags, make sure you know what other people's gamer tags are. So you know who's connecting to you because so you don't want jack offs trying to connect to your desktop and they have pretty much full control and all that jazz. So Basically, you just share your uh, computer, basically, and it'll copy a link to the clipboard, and you just copy that to your friend in Steam or on my Discord, and then they connect, and then there'll be a little icon down here that says, you know, your server and your guests connected, and just open that up and make sure that you enable their either their controller or their keyboard and mouse so they can play with you, so... That's really as easy as it is, but you'll have to see the other person's desktop if you play, if you don't play in full screen mode, which I do not. I don't know about you. So that's the Parsec side, but once you're connected, let's just close this down real quick here. You're in the game, and uh, where is my game? Why? There it is. So basically, it doesn't matter what you play, you can play any, you can play opponent even. And then you can go, you know, player select, and you just add a player, and then they can choose uh, to play whoever, you know, on either side. So you can go versus, you can go co-op on opponent mode. Those games are only to 10, so just keep that in mind. Or you can even do story mode stages together. Hell, let's do stage 19. We're not going to do it, but I'm just going to show you how to do it. So, again, same deal, player select select which player you can have a setter you can have a spiker you can have uh, mixed up a uh, a mixed style setter like apparently careful is now or daring that's a good one and have both hitters play so again that's that they choose their players i'll go up they go on and a little interesting thing i found out is you can call a timeout and uh reset who's playing who so you can even move players around so you got that going for you too. So yeah, all these stages, even the challenge mode, I imagine, is the same way. Let's just go into that one, just because. So yeah, again, same deal. Player add, and again, you select which player you want to play. Start it up. Now, if the person's using the mouse, you got to be very careful. If you're using the mouse as well, uh, because he'll he him moving the mouse will interfere with you moving the mouse. Which I think I wish they'd fix that, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, and that's that. I mean, that's really it. It's very latency. It's low latency compared to the Steam, uh, the Steam mode game share or whatever it's called. And that's that. It's, it's really all there is to it, my friends. And Parsec is free of charge, my friends. So again, just be aware of who's connecting to you. So I don't want to see anything bad happen to any of my friends out there. So just be aware. So make sure you communicate beforehand. Hey, I'm VB Gamer number eight six seven five three zero nine, and uh, I'll be connecting to you. And it doesn't matter even who hosts it. So again, usually you probably want the person with the best internet connection and the best computer. So uh, be that as it may. So that's it. It's all I do for now. I will be back later with another actual gameplay video. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Oh, and if you like this content, hit subscribe, the like button, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment and read all the comments, my friends. And share this video so you can get all your friends playing multiplayer on Spike Volleyball. All right. Thanks for watching. And check my Discord. Join my Discord while you're at it. Uh, you can meet up with a bunch of my rabid following. So, all right. Talk to you later. Bye.